Hello Aries, this is Lisa with Inspired Heart Intuitive here for your July 2018 reading. Okay, so at this channel, our goal is to help each and every one of you live a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. Thank you again for coming in and coming back and tuning in again and watching another video. If this is your first time, um, if you are returning again, I should say, come thank you for coming back. Um, your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate it. You might be wondering why if in since July is, um, well, yeah, Cancer's month, right? We've started the month of Cancer. Why am I doing Aries first? And you probably are thinking, oh, it's because Aries is the first in the Zodiac. No, no. Um, I'm doing you guys and then Scorpio um first because you guys comment the most you and scorpio comment the most on my videos um get the most watches and everything from aries and scorpio so thank you and for that you get the honor of having this month's reading done first Alrighty, so um please hit if you haven't already or you are not subscribed yet, please hit that like and subscribe and that bell button so that you're notified when I put up brand new content and I go live. I would really appreciate that. Please leave me um, comments. Um, I like to know what's going on. I like to know um, how it resonated with the, everything resonated with you. And um, yeah, I, I'm very interested actually. And I do respond, believe it or not, I really do. Okay, so here we go. So this is what we're going to do if you're not accustomed to the method that I use. Uh, I'm going to pull five cards for you, okay? First card is going to be the energy that's coming towards you in July. Second card second card is going to be <laughs> the energy you're kind of bringing, how you're feeling inside, how, what you're bringing into this. Um, third card will be potential obstacles. Fourth card is going to be what's going to help us overcome those obstacles. And fifth and final card, potential outcome. Because remember, we always have free will. Um, it's a potential outcome. Uh, or advice. Sometimes I get advice as well. So, let us five cards for July 2018 for Aries. Aries for July of 2018. One more shuffle, guys. All right, here we go. We're going to cut and see what's happening. I know you guys see in the corner over here. Yes, I still, I've got coffee up here. Overall energy for you guys for July is the Queen of Cups. Um, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces coming into your world. Probably lean a little bit closer to Cancer because that Queen of Cups is typically our energy. Um, so, could be some new or very supportive. Uh, somebody with good maternal instincts and energy coming in, but this, you know, solidification of um, un, like unchanging love, right? Not dependent upon anything. All right. So first card, what's coming towards you? Nine of pen, the energy coming towards you is the nine of pentacles in the upright. So when I see that energy, um, that's move forward with caution, right? Um, really analyze the situation uh, before you take a leap, Aries. Don't be very, very impulsive this month. Take your time with it. Uh, look at all of the ins and outs. Really do your investigation. Not that it's a bad thing, but especially when it comes to money, or any type of fin any type of financial or home um, concern, issue or decision, please take some bring some caution, and it's not going to move as quickly as you would like for it to move either. So it's either 
take caution or it's not moving as quickly as you want. If this is a relationship you're concerned about right now, but I'm not necessarily seeing that, but we'll see what happens. Um, if this is a relationship, it's slow moving. It's not really gaining a lot of ground in July. So temperance, what you're bringing up, what you're feeling is temperance in the reverse. So this can be a level of impatience. This can be a level of you've been trying to find this right mixture and balance between perhaps like let's say operating on a regular spiritual at a higher resonance, but then how do I manage to take care of my bills too? That sort of thing. Um, it could be how do I blend my two friend groups or family members, family groups together, that kind of thing. There's this blending and trying to use like an alchemy to turn the situation around. And I think you've been trying to do it. You've been really trying really hard to do it. And it's almost like you've been trying too hard. Okay. Um, and you're getting impatient with the situation, to be honest with you. So that's kind of what you're bringing into this. Um, potential obstacles is two ones in the reverse. So um, where there was forward movement between you and another, be it um, a romantic couple or a business couple, a financial couple, uh, a partner, you know what I mean? Um, there's some partnership that either is not gelling as quickly as you would like for it to. It's come to a standstill. You're not really seeing how that's going to all work out. We'll get some clarification on that. Um, what's going to help you overcome this is the nine of cups in the reverse. I'm not quite sure I want to speak on that quite yet. It's like you're coming out of this time of, of, it's like you're, or you're in this time right now where it's like you're almost fulfilled, but just not quite there. Like you're kind of admiring all of the things and the achievements and the harvest that you've already cultivated and that have come to bear, but yet it's still just not quite there and I and I feel like you're coming out of that time period and kind of finally opening up and seeing the light. So um and then potential outcome is the death in reverse. So you could potentially fight the new fight the cycle ending that as it's supposed to. Um if you I mean that's your choice. Um, but let's just get some clarification. Okay. So why is the Knight of Pentacles here in the upright? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here in the upright? Why is the Knight of Pentacles in the upright here for what's coming towards Aries? For July 2018, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? What's coming towards Aries? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? One more. Empress in reverse. So, um, with the Page of Cups, then for overall energy. So, there was looks like there was a start. To potentially a relationship, this could have been um, kind of a fun new um, offer of love, not fully baked yet, um, very curious, right, playful, um, that hasn't come to bear or that has been withdrawn from you. You're not really feeling like right now the birthing process is happening quick enough, um, and, it, and it may not, that, that this is not, I'm not seeing a birthing energy or a manifestation energy as far as things. Um, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing this as a building energy for the next. This is going to be interesting for you guys for the next, for the month of July with Mars in retrograde and uh, starting on, on the 26th of June in general in direct opposition to earth. So you need to, um, Go check out Shonda Rise Astrology, and she did a really good 
talk about this for Aries. Okay, so um, why is the Temperance card here in the reverse as to what you're bringing in? Why is the Temperance card here in reverse? Yeah, because there's conflict here. Um, you want a new start, but you're conflicted. You want this new thing to really come to fruition. However, you're putting in more work than the other person is putting in. So, and you're losing patience with the situation. You're losing patience with it. So two of wands in reverse. Why is the two of wands in reverse here? Why is the two of wands in reverse here? Why is the two of wands in reverse? Why is the two of wands in reverse? One more. Why is the two of wands in reverse here? You wanted a fresh new start, and you it's like the, the universe is trying to bring the cycle to an end. However, you're feeling left out in the cold. Like, you think this could be a fabulous, um, great start, right? This could be a great collaboration. It could be a great partnership. However, the other person does, must not because you're feeling super left out in the cold right now. And, in fact, there hasn't been any... If this is a love relationship, there hasn't been any deliverance of um, love messages to you. Um, or if this is a, you know, some other type of situation where it's like a financial or um, like a contract or a new job, like you're just not feeling the um, security. There hasn't been um, a very secure message given to you yet like you're just really teetering on the edge right you don't know it's very uncertain for you and so the obstacle is this feeling that this will never come about that this um partnership or relationship is never gonna come about okay so why is the nine of cups here in the reverse why is the nine of cups here in reverse for Aries, why is the Nine of Cups here in the reverse for Aries? Why is the Nine of Cups in the reverse for Aries? Nine of Cups in reverse for Aries. Why is the Nine of Cups here in reverse? One more. Okay, so you need to find inner peace the four swords in the upright and rekindle the hopes and dreams that you've had that you feel have been kind of dashed while you're in the midst of the self-reflection of the harvest that you've created or you're just not really feeling like it's like you feel like your accomplishments have been for no good um because if you don't do that then it's you're not because right now you're not feeling very victorious over the situation so because you're in your feelings a little bit about whether or not the accomplishments are well, then I, like you should feel happy about the things that you've accomplished and the things that you've brought forward. The cards are saying, find this inner peace, rekindle that hope and that belief, otherwise you're not going to find victory. Because you got to basically get the internal victory first before you can get the external victory. So you got to get calm and peaceful within yourself and, and con continue to put out and emote positive energy. And keep your resonance up. If you do not do that, then none of this happens. You can't lose patience when you're trying to manifest. Not, and, and trying to manifest is not good, not a good way to put it. When you're in the midst of manifestation, you cannot lose patience in the process because that what it, what is being brought to you does not abide by time or space. It comes to you in its own right time. It comes to you in the time that it's supposed to come to you according to the divine timing timing of the universe. And when we fight that on a constant basis by being impatient, by worrying, by not resonating at a high vibration, 
all of those things, then we keep saying, well, I don't believe that it's ever going to happen. And therefore, and then it's delayed. It's just on a continual delay when we do that. So be very careful about what your, about your thought life and your emotional life in regard to this situation, be it a relationship or be it your money or your home, whatever this is that you're trying to manifest here, whatever that, that you're seeking to manifest or that you want so badly. And that desire, that want blocks the manifestation as well. So watch your wants. Just rest in that it is. So right now I'm resting in um, a new vehicle for myself. How is it supposed to happen? Oh, I just know what I want. I know I want an SUV. You know, relatively new. It doesn't need to be brand new. I don't need to drive it off the lot brand new because it depreciates so fast. And there's that cancer in me. It do, that doesn't make any fiscal sense. However, I you know, I do need a new vehicle. And so I'm resting in that that it's coming. Or that it's actually already here. Right? But I'm not letting my want or even my need, because I actually do need a new car. I'm not allowing my need to dictate my emotions in regard to that vehicle. Point blank, period. You just gotta let go. So now, the death card here in the reverse. So this means, this could mean resistant to change, wanting to hold on to the old, all that kind of stuff. So why is the death card in reverse here, please? Why is the death card in reverse here? Why is the death card in reverse here for Aries? It's a potential outcome. Why is the death card in reverse here? It's a potential outcome. One more. So you're not willing to kind of get out there and do the new thing. You're still trying to make your decision. You're juggling to these options, but you're just not ready to take that leap, right? However, if you do, there's your collaboration right there, but you're afraid to move. You can't hold on to, like, don't hold on to the past. Don't resist the change. Move with it. Make your decision, Aries, and move with it. No, you're not supposed to make your decision extremely quickly, but that doesn't mean you don't make a decision. Right? Do not get analysis paralysis is basically what I'm trying to say to you, love. Don't get analysis paralysis. And that's what I feel like sometimes happens, right? Um, okay, we're going to pull an indigo angel card for you. Indigo angel card for you. What do we have for Aries? Sorry, I'm getting messages. Like on the pole, no, not like from up here. <laughs> um, I have one card of advice for my Aries friends for July of 2018. One card of advice. Ah, uh, look through the situation. Let me read that because that makes very that makes perfect sense for you guys. Okay, look through the situation. As an indigo, you may get caught up in the emotions in a situation and feel stressed or frightened. This card reminds you that life will continue long after you've gotten through this challenge. 
and forgotten all about it. The angels ask you to concentrate on the good things in your life and see beyond whatever is going on around you. One of the best ways to find resolution is by releasing the situation and allowing yourself to feel relief. Take time to relax and imagine what it will feel like when this trying time is over. Trust that the angels hear your prayers loud and clear and will help you with resolving every aspect of the situation. Okay, loves? Um, you got to look through it. Don't get scared by it. Don't get your emotions about it. Look through it. Listen to divine guidance. Pray, meditate, breathe. Always remember to breathe. And, um, yeah. You'll make your decision. Just try not to, just don't hold on to the old stuff. Okay? Because it's not serving you. Don't resist the change because your blessing is on the other side of it. All right, guys. Hey, listen, thank you again so much for watching this video. Again, like, subscribe, hit that bell. Um, also, the information is down below to reach out to me for personal readings. Um, and uh, also, just so you guys are aware, I'm trying to make you all more aware of this now. I do also do date, um, distance Reiki sessions. So, um, meaning we get live on Skype or Zoom or Google Hangouts, whatever works for you. And, um, and we can do some really good energy work as well in, uh, in a distance format. Um, it's, I found it to be very effective. Okay. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you supporting this channel and, um, and watching this video. So until next time, peace, blessings, joy, and love today, tomorrow, and for all eternity be unto you. Love you. Bye-bye.